Welcome to Barometer World, I'm Philip Collins and a question we sometimes get asked is how can I make a barometer? Well there are many different types of barometers so just to cover a few quickly the earliest normal type of barometer would be a glass tube which would be filled with mercury something somewhat like this it would be sealed at the top and when it's stood up the mercury drops to create a vacuum at the top and then with some type of scale alongside where the level of mercury is you could register, record how much the pressure goes up and down. Now that type of barometer, very simple, could be mounted on any number of different designs of wooden cases, which they often were on the antique ones, but of course with the EU regulations we're not allowed to make and sell these anymore. The more common type of barometer that most people will be familiar with is the aneroid, that is this type of movement, it's a rather large new movement here, it consists primarily of a vacuum capsule or it looks like two tin cannons which are soldered together and the air is taken out and then there's a large spring to pull that apart and that then becomes sensitive to air pressure and with a series of levers and linkages it magnifies a very small movement of the capsule under pressure change to arrange the needle which is mounted on here to move left and right but you can see the complexity of this that it has even since its first days been made in larger numbers to reduce the cost. A very skilled engineer no doubt could make this in their own workshop but it would not be a normal thing. We don't make them ourselves, we obviously repair a lot of these but there are few factories left in the world that still make them. However a barometer you could probably make at home is a very simple temperature pressure instrument based on Sanatori's thermoscope which is very old principle a glass tube, hollow here with a ball blown on the end, placed into a reservoir of water. Now you can use the same idea with a long thin necked bottle with some liquid in it upside down in a glass jar. But if I put this tube in the water and just with the heat of my hand I can warm up the air inside there which expands the air and we can see little bubbles of air coming out of the bottom and after a while when I remove my hand the air will cool down and the water will rise up. It's a bit of a guess and a playing around to get the level just correct but if you get the level about halfway when a barometer is normal atmospheric pressure about a thousand millibars or 29.5 and the temperature is constant because it is temperature relative as well then you'll see the pressure going up and down by the movement of the liquid.